everyone, I'm Yolanda Soto Lopez from the Opcast channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so, that way you never miss a new video. If you see anything you like, be sure to hit that like button, put any comments below, and let's get the party started! Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from the All Crafts channel, and in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make this three, um, this three little round uh, flower motif. It is a pattern found in Edie Ekman's book. This was number 41. To begin, I'm going to be using a uh, H hook, which is a five millimeter hook, and I'm going to be using two different colors of medium weight yarn. I'm just using an acrylic yarn, which is a worsted yarn here, and you can use whatever colors you like and hook size. The motif I'm going to be doing is number 41, and this is from Edie uh, Ekman's book. Uh, crochet motifs beyond the square and she has uh, in this book there's 144 different um, motifs you can do and these are great because you can make sweaters tablecloths I mean just about all kinds of stuff she gives you a lot of great ideas this book is really a good value as a matter of fact I think any of her books Edie Ekman and Margaret Hubert I love all of their books I think I have all of their books um, so we're going to be working on number 45 which is this cute little flower so if you um, get a chance to purchase that book, I would go ahead and do it because it's really a really good book. So here to begin, I'm going to start with the lighter color. And I'm going to start with a magic circle. So I'm just going to go in front like this. Okay, the tail's in back. Bring the yarn to the back. And then here, I'm just going to go ahead and chain three. Let's see here. One, two, Three, and that's going to count as my first double crochet and then here now I'm going to work 11 more double crochets into the ring so that will give me um, 12 double crochets I'm going to pull this a little bit because the ring is a little bit big so to do the double crochet you're going to get your hook you're going to wrap the yarn around it which is like a yarning over you're going to bring your hook into that circle grab the yarn with the Hook, pull it out. Now there's three little loops of yarn on your hook, including the uh, the hook itself. So it's one, two, three. You're going to pull through the first two. There will be two left, and you're going to pull through the next two. So that will be a double crochet. So here that would be one, two. And I'm going to do ten more into that circle. If it starts getting kind of big, you can pull a little bit to close it, but don't close it until we have finished all of your eleven double crochets into there. Okay, here I've done all my 11 double crochets plus chain 3, so that's a total of 12. We're going to pull the tail here to close that circle there, and we're going to close the circle with a slip stitch into the top of that third chain, the turning chain. So it's 1, 2, and 3. I'm going to go in there, slip stitch through there, but right now, oops, I'm going to change the color. So here, once I put my stitch into the third chain here, I'm going to pull out with the new color. So I'm going to cut that off right there, get my new color, and I'm going to pull it out with the new color there. I'm just going to make a little tie here and then I'm going to work that stitches into my work, okay? Just something there just to hold it in so it doesn't come apart. And then at the end we can finish in by sewing in those tails. So here now we're going to make these little loops that are going to help us be able to put in the petals. So here we're going to chain one and then we're going to single crochet into this next stitch and now we're going to chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we're going to single crochet into the same stitch and then we're going to skip the next stitch here, the next double crochet we're going to um, single crochet, one single crochet in there chain seven two, three, four, five, six, and seven and we're going to single crochet back into the same stitch and we're going to repeat that four more times. So I'm going to skip in the next one here. Then I'm going to do a single crochet, chain seven, single crochet into the same stitch. Three, 
four, five, six, and seven. Go back in there. And I'm going to repeat that around. So there it is right there. So now I'm skipping it. Going to the next one. Single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Single crochet in the same one. Skip the next one. Single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Single crochet to the same stitch. And we're almost done. Skip this one. Next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet into the same stitch. Just like that. So we're going to have our little, these are going to be the petals where we're going to be working in these little loops. Now after here, we're going to join with a slip stitch into that first single crochet that we had there. Just slip stitch into there. Oops, let me get that there. And now I'm going to chain one and we're going to repeat this for every petal. Okay, we chain one. Then we're going to do single crochet, two half double crochets. To do a half double crochet, you yarn over, go in there. But now we have three loops. We're going to go through all three loops. That's a half double crochet. And we're going to do two of those. And then we're going to do three double crochets, yarn over, go in there now, pull through the first two, the next two, do that two more times. And that's shaping the petals. So I'm going to here, here. One, two, three. And now we're going to do two half double crochets. One, two, and then the last one is going to be a single crochet. And then we're going to go around and go to the next space here one single crochet the next little loop space and then repeat what we just did two double two half double crochets three double crochets two half double crochets and then a single crochet again you're going to repeat that all the way on each little loop here until all your petals are done okay here I'm coming to the end I just need to do one more single crochet And then we're going to slip stitch into that single crochet to finish off. So I'm going to go ahead and cut. I always like to cut the yarn longer than too short because then it's easier to um, to sew it in. I'm sorry guys, the wind is blowing and my windows are just rattling. So here you could just kind of shape it with your fingers. And these are great fillers. Um, like when you do blankets or different shawls, you could make these in between when you um, are joining bigger motifs or even smaller ones around there um, and they make a really cute little addition and also uh, if you knit uh, or you make a plain sweater you can make this with smaller with a smaller hook and then you could put these on top of the sweater and uh, embellish it or maybe on the elbows it, it looks really cute or on the knees of some uh, little pants so they're really cute and all you need to do then is just I just need to sew in my tails remember uh, sew in the light color into the light colors and then this into the same color so that they disappear but that is it it's just I hope you enjoyed the video tutorial please be able be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so hit that like button there's a little bell uh, next to the subscribe button hit that bell and you'll be notified every time I put in a, a new video I hope you have a great day and remember always that God loves you